playing like the reason for me making this video is as of right now I am making a week form on this video. I've been baptized in the Seventh day Baptist Church. You might call it obsessing about it, I don't care. But I know one thing. I have the Bible, I have a baptism. So as long as I got that, Satan has no power over me. Satan might will power over other people, but not me. From now on, this channel will not turn around and contain any more language. I've taken down all videos. I don't care if they've gotten lots of views on them. For now on, this is all going to be about Christianity and what the Lord has to say instead of, I don't care about the popularity no more. I've seen people say that they are a Christian, but I have not seen them basically walk the walk. They talk the talk, but they don't walk the walk. Yes, 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 that. That's, yes, that. It is pretty sad to come think about it. Man, how are you going to say you is a Christian when here yeah, you're not walking the walk? But you'll talk the talk, but you don't walk the walk. You know, there's many verses in this here Bible that says and foretells and warns about that. That many people, many languages, many nations, tribes, countries, or people will say that they come in me. They belong to me when an actual truth is that I never knew them. They're saying that they belong to Jesus Christ, but Jesus never knew them. Why would Jesus turn around and say something like that? It's because Jesus Christ, was, these people have never been in church. They may have attended once or maybe a few times, and after that they stopped showing up. and. They stopped putting things before God, and they basically lost well, their again. They basically started putting things before God, and basically going back to the old ways. They didn't want to accept Jesus Christ. Well, I have oh oh I have right here. I have. Yeah. What I don't understand in this book that why in the Bible say that people will say that they that it say that people will claim to be Christians. That they that they say that they're of Jesus Christ. Hmm. That the of Jesus Christ, you know, to say that they belong to Jesus when actually Jesus Christ never knew you. He also said those who would stop showing up, they never were of Jesus Christ, ever. And it goes to show, you know. We're living in those times where there's a lot of people that claim to be Christians. They talk the talk, but they don't walk the walk. And that's getting pretty scary, actually. Actually, yeah, it is getting pretty scary. So, let that be a reminder. If you say you're a Christian, you have better walk the walk instead of just talking the talk. Because... I'm not going to just instantly go, yeah, okay, because I don't believe you. You know what? I'm sorry, Jesus Christ, that you have to hear people say that they're a Christian, and you know very good and well that they're not, and they say they are, and you know that they're not. I'm pretty sorry about that, man. Oh, today, basically, it's been at around 80 degrees. Now, just a lot of things going around here lately. What it comes down to is Satan runs the world. 
a number of people they don't like to hear that he runs the world, but it's true. Satan runs the world, and it's true. He'll do any he'll do any means necessary to get people to turn away from God, and he knows that he can't touch. He the, the devil cannot touch a Christian. He can't touch the children of God. He can't harm them, not lay one finger on the children of God. You know something? Satan's already lost. But there's a lot of people that are foolish enough to believe that Satan's won. That's, no, nah, man. You're the one that are the fools. You'll follow him, but you won't follow God. Let me tell you this. When your dark master has fallen, is cast into the lake of fire, and you're cast along with him, was it worth it? Was it worth not serving Jesus Christ and continuously rebuking him? And hating someone because they're a Christian? Was it worth hating Christians? Was it? Answer me this. Was it worth hating Christians and being hateful to Christians and wishing Christians harm and hating them? Hating every Christian that you see? Was it worth it? Hating Christians and wishing them harm? Or even causing harm to a Christian? Was it numbskull? Oh, it wasn't. But yet, if you're going to say you're a Christian, walk the walk. Don't just talk the talk, walk the walk. There's a lot of that going around lately, and I'm just thinking, I also need to walk the walk, too. So, so... Let me go ahead and cut this panel. Y'all have a great night. I'll give you a lot of things to put down. Y'all have a good day. Now, just had to do some video cleanup. Goodbye.